things. What do you do if you're confronted with somebody who is, for want of a better word, unpleasant? I, I don't know. I mean, I, th I think the thing about it is that people who, 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 who you may judge as unpleasant don't probably judge themselves as unpleasant. That's just who they are. So I think it's always good to meet somebody where they're at. You don't necessarily need to agree with them. And this is this idea of that you can connect to somebody without agreeing with them. It's simply a case of, I may not agree with your behavior or what you're saying, but we're both humans and I can connect. And in some senses, you're likely to get a better result by connecting than arguing with them. Um, because it, it, you know, even if what they're saying is unpleasant, you don't necessarily need to agree. You could just sort of, as you say, meet them energetically. I wouldn't say that you would want to meet them sort of aggressively because to, to kind of mirror back to them how unpleasant their behavior is, I don't think that would be effective. But there is a, an idea of raising your energy level, which, will, which is called pacing and leading. But I think there's, you know, underlying that question is a sort of belief, which is how do you deal with someone who, who, who you're finding unpleasant? Um, and I would say the best way of doing it is firstly kind of acknowledge them and see if they shift their behavior. And if not, then try and sort of like bring the, the interaction to an end as quickly as possible. Um, you know, you don't need to sit there and endure it. Just try and, you know, just say you have to nip, nip out to the loo or something and just, you know, just bring it to a close. Because, you know, but I, that's my, my interpretation of that. Is that, is that helpful?